you've seen my other shorts, you know I've talked a lot about these gate boards and the Roland HP6 and how each one has an onboard TMS3615 chip that generates the sound. Something interesting I realized today is that the signals actually flow from the treble end of the keyboard down to the bass end. Each chip takes a clock signal in and then divides it by various factors to give you 13 different pitches. It then divides the input clock by two and sends the clock output. This is interesting and convenient because the frequency of a pitch from one octave to the next is a factor of two, either double when you go up or cut in half when you move down. I have this HP60 opened up and I'm reading the frequency from the clock input on the highest chip here on my oscilloscope. The other waveform is the clock frequency coming out of the lowest chip. In total there are six different clock frequencies happening across this board. The highest clock frequency is about 504 kilohertz and the lowest is about 15.72 kilohertz.